Hi everybody, Brent Johnson here with Heartfeel Automation. This week we're gonna utilize a Compact S, an X20 CP0484, and we're gonna use an X20 slice. It's the X20 SM1446-1. And this is our motor stepper motor driver. And we're gonna drive a basic stepper motor. I think I stole this one off of a 3D printer I had laying around. Let's hop into our Automation Studio project. All right, once you have Automation Studio open, let's create a new project. Let's just name it stepper underscore motor underscore test. Go ahead and hit click next. Then we'll name the configuration, our controller that we're using, X20CP0484. Let's go ahead and find that controller. Click on it and hit next. We have it on the bus base, the X20BB52. Highlight over that and click finish. All right. First, let's go in and let's go to our physical view and let's add our hardware that we have. So go ahead and click on the X2X because this is going to be tied into our X2X plane. Click on IO and let's start typing in our stepper mo motor module X20SM. 1446-1, go ahead and double click it. You're gonna get this pop up here. Go ahead and just hit next. Keep it as motion configuration and keep it as map motion. Go ahead and click finish. All right, let's go to our configuration tab and hit the plus sign by the X20CP0484. Click on map motion. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click on map axis. And we're gonna double click on act, single axis component configuration file. One other file I wanna add is under map cockpit. So click on map cockpit and we're gonna click on this map cockpit settings file. And that will get added in the project as well. Now next up, what I wanna do is I wanna double click on this configuration axis. And I'm just going to change this from linear bound for now. We can change this back to rotary. I'm going to change our max velocity from 10 to 100. And then I'm going to go ahead and just hit save all. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to go into our physical view. And we're going to do some configuration settings here. First, go into our X20 CP0484 and hit configuration. Let's go to timing. And instead of the under system timer, we want to change it from CPU timer to our EPL X2X interface. And then the interface we want to choose is our IF6, that's the X20BB52. And then now we will go back to this other configuration that we opened up for the X2X. And we're going to change this to 400 microseconds. Go ahead and do that and hit save. Then you can close out of there. And then we're gonna come down to a cycle time interface. We're gonna change this from 4,000 to 400. Actually, let's X out of there and then reopen it up. And then we're gonna to go to timing again and system timer. And it automatically changed it when I changed that other one. So it's at 400 microseconds. Next area, I wanna to go to resources. And then I wanna click on cyclic task classes. And under cyclic one, I want to explode that. And I want to change this from 8,000 to 400 microseconds. Change our tolerance from 8,000 to zero. I want to change our IO output delay to delay at end of cycle. Go ahead and hit save all. Then you can close out of there. Next, we're going to add a basic, uh, one other library to this. So go and click on the library then what we want to do is just check the library box here and then we're going to click on this BNR libraries. And what we're going to look for is a library called MC Step Axe, MCSTP Axe. So go scroll down to MC, it's alphabetical order. I went past it, MC. Right here, just hit highlight over that and hit finish. 
All right, now we're going to go and we're going to add a basic program and we're just going to copy the same program we've done for servo motion control in the past. So go to our help, open up the help folder under contents. Under the tree here on the left, go to motion control and hit the plus sign. Click on map motion, click on guides, click on getting started, go to click on axis and then go to programming and the we're going to copy these variables and this program. So go ahead and just click this little gray thing and we'll highlight it and hit control C. Go back to our project and let's add a new a new pro, a new program. So make sure you highlight over stepper motor and then click on program and we're just going to do an all-in-one stepper or all-in-one ST program all-in-one. You can change the name if you want to. I'm going to just leave it as program. Hit plus and then open up variables. And then what I'm going to do is actually X out of that, open up, right click and hit open as text. And now just, we copied and pasted out of that help folder, just highlight this and then hit control V. Then hit save all and you can close out of there. Then go to our main program, double click on that. Let's go back to the help folder and then we'll copy this program right here. So just highlight over it and hit control C. Then highlight over this and hit control V. Then go ahead and hit save all. And then you can close out of there. And then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go back into our, we wanna go to the configuration of our SM module. So go to physical view and then right click on X20 SM 1446 and hit configuration. We need to reference the axis just like we do for servos. So go over to this channel one real axis reference and hit the down arrow and hit G axis underscore one. I'm gonna turn module supervised to off. And then I'm gonna leave everything else how it is right now. We're gonna to wanna to come in here when we get the real motor hooked up and play around with some of our parameters. But for now and for simulation purposes, we'll just leave it. Go ahead and hit save all and close out of there. And then one other area, I want you to double click on X20CP044484. And you can see the program we created is in cyclic number four. We wanna move that up to our first cyclic. So just left click it and drag it up to one. And then you'll see it's in the first cyclic. Go ahead and hit save all. You can close out of there. Um, and then another area I want to do under the configuration view, go back to our map cockpit and double click on this settings file we created. And we want to change this bottom area for, so it says everyone. So change it to everyone, hit save all, then you can X out of there. Then we want to go up to our project and we want to go to our change runtime versions and under map, Map view, we want to, right now it's not defined. We want to change it to 5.15. That's so we can use our map cockpit down the road here. And we'll explore that more next week. But go ahead once you change that and hit OK. And then I'd like to hit save all again. Next thing, go and hit this little stoplight thing so we can activate our simulation. Now you can see that it's green and we're in run mode. We can go ahead and down transfer this project down to our simulated controller. So hit transfer. It will build the project down here. Oh, I got an error here when I was trying to download it. I forgot to enable our OPC UA server. So in order to do that, we need to go back to our physical view Right click on X20, whoops, CP0484, hit configuration and go all the way down to the bottom and click on this OPC UA system and hit on. If you don't do that, it's gonna bark at you like it did. Hit save all, close out of there and then we can try to transfer it again. This time it should work. All right, we can go ahead and transfer it on down Go ahead and click yes. All right, the install is done. Go ahead and hit close. I, I always like to do a warm restart. So go ahead and click warm restart and hit okay. All right, we're back in run mode. 
as you can see it's green go to logical view let's go into our watch window go ahead and right click on our program and hit open watch hit insert variable and then we'll insert these two variables here go ahead and click add and so first let's go ahead and let's power the module on so go ahead and change that from false to true by changing it to a one hit enter And now you can see that the power is true, power on is true, so that, that's good. Now let's home it, so go ahead and change that to a one. You can see our home is homed is true. So you can change that back to zero and it will stay homed. Now we'll just hit move velocity and change that to true. And you can see right here that we're actually moving in simulation right now. That's like our actual motor moving. That's all I want to show this week. Next week I'll talk a little bit about map cockpit and we'll actually start building our program using these variables right here and how to like move the robot the stepper motor around thanks so much for watching i hope you have a great week and i hope you stay safe and we'll talk to you next week